zinc is recommended for immunity and for testosterone. How does zinc influence testosterone and what dose do you recommend? So zinc, uh, then some studies show that zinc has good testicular function. It helps with fertility. It helps with seminal volume. So it increases ejaculate and may, 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 may find more, more uh, pleasant orgasms for men. So zinc is certainly a good supplement to take. Usually I recommend uh, a ZMA, which is a zinc magnesium supplement before bed uh, for many reasons. And you also get your 30 milligrams per day of zinc in there. Uh, so there's the, the short answer. 30 milligrams tends to be sufficient for most men. As far as testosterone, I would say if you're on TRT, it's really moot. Uh, it's more so, uh, you know, endogenous production, possibly. Again, I don't know if there's a direct link, and I'm happy to look at studies if anyone has seen any direct link between testosterone production and zinc. Now, there could be an indirect or secondary benefit by maintaining proper spermatogenesis or testicular function with zinc supplementation, which indirectly may impact the overall testicular health, which increases testosterone production in an otherwise naturally occurring male. And again, that would not really uh, be an implication for someone on TRT. Uh, when it comes to immunity, again, this is something that uh, a lot of minerals are required. And if you're, here's the thing, the studies that I've read on zinc simply state, as it does with most minerals, if you are deficient fixing your state of deficiency to normalcy will yield benefits. If you are not deficient and already normal, supplementing with excess levels is not going to serve you a benefit. And that holds true for a lot of things. So you have to be careful when you read these studies or when you read the headlines that say zinc may benefit X, Y, and Z, or ABC may, may benefit this or that. Oftentimes they're referring to fixing a deficiency. And with zinc, it's no different. Yes, they have done studies and I've read them where um, hypogonadal zinc deficient men were given optimal levels of zinc and they've noticed an increase in testosterone, fertility, et cetera. But again, they've replenished a deficiency. So if you do not have this deficiency, I haven't seen a conclusive study to suggest that you're going to get an improvement in, in any of these areas uh, just by supplementing additional. Mm -hmm.